The old internet meme of Balmer's Peak claims that coding skill improves the more you drink. But what actually happens when someone tries to code at different blood alcohol levels? In 2024, Stoddart and Stone tested Balmer's Peak directly, using a single software engineer, Tomb Stone, the Welsh equivalent of Tom and surely his real name, as the subject. Over 40 nights, Tomb drank whatever sort of alcohol he had available to his personal content, measured his blood alcohol concentration, or BAC, and then solved real coding problems sourced from leak code. At very low levels, around one to two drinks, he solved problems slightly faster than when he was sober. But once Stone's BAC reached above 0 0.10, above the legal driving limit in the UK, where this extremely scientific experiment was conducted, his performance fell off a statistical cliff. At heavy degrees of intoxication, 2.0 and higher, his coding ability was worse than 94% of other programmers who had solved the same problems. When sober, it took Toom about 8 minutes to complete a single programming problem, 5 minutes when he was slightly buzzed, and more than 55 minutes when he was drunk. What looked like a peak turned out to be a small hill, followed by a sharp cliff. So, is Balmer's peak real? No, not really. What exists instead is Balmer's Hill, a tiny improvement for some people on some creative associative tasks at very low doses, and Balmer's Cliff, a sharp, reliable collapse just beyond the hill's precipice. Alcohol doesn't increase skill. It reduces anxiety, sometimes helpfully, often dangerously. And without a breathalyzer, no one knows where they are on that slope. Remember, friends, always drink and code responsibly.